Hello, hello, folks. It's EXP Story Gamers coming out to another action video for Honkai Star Rail 2.1. This is your host here, about ready to continue my playthrough from the last one. I already completed uh, the first part. Now, <laughs> I admit one of my faults was like I didn't really have my, I wasn't really, you know, I don't know if I'd say, I, I don't know what it was, man, I just wasn't really clear-minded at the time, you know, you, I got so caught up with everything that was going on in the game, I didn't even like give attention to like uh, the other board and it's like oh is my team ready is I like no like <laughs> this is when I was trying to go for that one chest and I was like oh my gosh because uh Venturine joined the party so this is my current party I changed it up Claire is like one of my top mains uh pretty much one of my top very powerful mains and also one of my top tanks the ones that uh more so holds up the whole party is Fushuan up. Uh, Fushuan, of course. Um, I think I got all her traces done. I got a lot of stuff. I even got her some really good art, good relics. Um, really great relics to fit her and everything. And then now I added March seventh for the sake of uh, my combo. I always do with Clara is uh, have her with the shield, and then if she gets attacked. Both March seventh and Clara respond with a follow up. I've got a, I've built up March seventh so far, uh, uh, where I just, you know, I can choose to get her to level eighty or just leave her at seventy if I wanted to. Um, I want to actually get most of her uh, uh, traces done, especially the skill because of her shield reaction. And I still, you know, of course this is optional if I really want to, but. If, uh, uh, no, actually, yeah. No, no, no. I really want that. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, I am kind of a little anxious about uh, what's to come. You know, I'm really excited. I do need to grind to get like a better foot uh, or leggings for her. Because right now I don't have that. So, I mean like five star type. I only got the four star I think it's like defense, but I want one with like more speed, to be honest. You can give her like defense or speed at least. Um, if I want to get a five star defense, I'm going to amplify her defense even more. So, but yeah, her defense is actually pretty good so far, actually. It's like, what is it? Like, um, 2,218. And if I really get the improvement on like some of the relics, then also I got to get her some good uh like uh uh some of these the spears and the rope all that all that jazz i got a uh, work to get these ones the plan yeah the planner spears and all that see i'm almost i'm hardly talking to you i'm losing my train of thought for one second i don't know what it is i guess it's like you get like playing and it's like you you're tunneling on what's happening around you but then it's like some info you might forget or you might uh, remember some things and you don't. But uh, that's alright, I'll do my best. <laughs> alright, so where I'm at right now is I'm continuing the perspective of Aventurine. Um, I do want to correct, his name was Kakavasha, not, I think his name is Kaka. Well, okay. Um, anyway, let's continue. Uh, but I remember his name is not Avgin. That's the name, uh, that's actually something that he was apparently called. It's like some kind of word or name title or whatnot. Now I can go back and try to challenge that dude with the chest, but I'll do that later. Right now, I just want to go ahead and continue uh, with this place. If I want to do it on the side, I could. I mean, this place is still available, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm sure it is because you got the birds here, so we'll definitely go back and challenge them later. Um, I feel like I want to go ahead and challenge them again. Do I really, really, really want to do it? You know what? Hold on. Just for the uh, sake of the break effect. 
target there we go. Lower That's why I did that. That's why I did that to put a, uh, to, uh, cause the break and then, like, uh, it's trying to get more damage in there. There we go. There we go, there we go. Keeping on that, on that power train. Let's go. Yeah, see? You know, do more, do more damage out of the minute. I said, <laughs> do more damage by the minute. There we go, there we go. It's just my revenge fly. I need to eventually get her, um, because I don't have, uh, yeah, because I need to, uh, get, uh, some, like, because you can do, like, uh, either, like, primary, have the, 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 the leg armor with the, uh, the speed, or just do, like, substat speed. I've seen, I've seen videos, like, seen recommendations, you know, for Fu Shuan if you want to up her speed a little bit more. Especially, if, like, depending on the team, you know, you may want her to uh, activate her skill first. Uh, obviously. Finally, I can take out this guy. Sure, I'll play along. Yeah, I just activated it because, you know, just kind of add more to the damage to the uh, the meter up above for the break effect. We're getting there. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Yeah, venturing is not venturing's not that bad. I mean, whatever floats your boat, whoever you want to pull for. It's good out of the way, whatever you want to ch choose. I mean, if you find you want to go for venturing, go for it. If you want to go for Akron, go for it. I mean, I'm not like a one-sided, you know, fits all kind of... I mean, for me, like, I mean... Uh, you can always uh, pick somebody that suits your, your play style, your gameplay uh, uh, strategies. Nice. Now you don't finish them all with this. Nope, just freeze it. I need to be brave. Ah, see? There we go. Now it's done. My vengeance is fulfilled. Unexpected? We shouldn't take too much. Yeah, this is the follow-up attack uh, uh, relics. That looks like a... Is that a cat? Is that a cat? Dog? That must be no. That's the dog. That's the hound. Oh, I get it. The families. I think those are the family symbols. Yes. The different family symbols. I just noticed that. I'll let you do that. Let me just go ahead and just go here. There's a puzzle over here. Oh uh, yeah, I like messing. I like yeah, man, I like doing these little puzzles. Yeah, yeah, that's free. Let's go in there. I don't know, it's just something with me and perspective puzzles. These are just my favorite. All right, now I gotta get you over there. And there we go. Not that it's not that. Not that complicated, not that difficult, as long as you're like aware of like what the setup is at the beginning. It's my favorite kind of uh, puzzles, actually. 
I don't know, it's just something with me and prophetic pulses. They just come off a little, just easy, just easy for me. <laughs> I promise I'm not cheating. I'm honest. I swear. Okay. So you got a spot over here. You got a spot over there. So you got rooms over there. So that puzzle's down there. Okay. So let me see what's in this. Oh, so you can't open that one up right now. I mean, I could fight him if I want to, but... I mean, I'll have a few fights, but I just want to try to make sure I'm getting to places. So this is the way to go down. Enemies in there. Boom! I got to switch it up, but it's all right. Gotcha. Uh, try that again. Yep, thankfully we're weak against ice, so maybe much easier. Yep, there we go. A quick divination. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Yeah, nice shot, there we go. We'll start with and oh nope, we got another one. Big mistake. I hit the mark. Try that again. Watch your head. All things shift in the nation. Oh, shot you first before you give a sh you can hit me with that laser. Yeah, I'll try to get me, man. I'm gonna get you since you attacked me. You attacked him, and I'm gonna let him unleash on you. Yeah, that's right. Let's keep it on heads up. Let's go. Bingo. And you still got more. Are you all right? Big mistake. Try that again. I hit the mark. Ah. A quick divination. I need to be brief. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Far. We got all the nice follow-ups that go on here. I'll save his for another fight. Nice. Yeah, I saw. I see. There's. I see you multiple inks up in here. Uh, I'm sure I want to hide in here. So barren grass here. I want to bring some green to this place. I think I hear something. Huh? Why is my statue completely bare? Chirp. You, how did you pull out pull out all of my grass? I have to report this grass I mean, grass up in there, dude. It's a statue. <laughs> it's like get out of it. It's like get out of there, man. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Well, I ain't trying to play with you, man. I'm just trying to go around, get some treasures, get some fights. Do what I can to survive, do everything, and you coming up in here trying to hide in a darn statue, man. Come on, man. Alright, so we gotta... This is where it's like, oh, we built this place. Look at that. So you're the Vernant Manager, somewhere tripping from... Said nothing is here, and escape. escape. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much the model of the, uh, probably the dreams, probably the city or the place, uh, dreamscape itself. Or maybe like a model of what they wanted, how they want it to be. So this must be the symbols. Man, I, you don't hide in, yeah, of course you're going to hide right there. Ah. 
Huh? I think I hear something. Review a whole simple pattern. Memorize. Blah, blah, blah. Just skimming through. Skimming, 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 skimming. I know that's oak. With the flower in it, that's oak. So I just guessed uh, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Oak. And one of them, I think this is Alfalfa, right? No. My bad. Oh, wait a minute. This is Oak. Really? That's right. This is Oak. This is Alfalfa, and that's Iris. Yeah, so you got iris, alfalfa, oak, nightingale, and bloodhound. Literally the symbols of the family. And it's like there's seating areas right there for them. They got all the members of the family. Some of them even be characters, man. <laughs> Future characters, man. Okay. So, uh, let's see. We already got one of them. Gallagher. I know uh, um, Firefly apparently would have been uh, would be uh, Iris because I don't really she's an Iris family. You now peeking around that corner. Okay, let's get up. Yep, just get up. Let's get over there. Uh. And that's all it took. Feeling lucky. Let me deal with you real quickly. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Stay back, Clara. Watch your head. Yeah, it's like, oh, that was your mistake, bro. Freeze up in here. Spend freely. A quick divination. Converge and awaken. Tough luck running into me. Probably might not need to do the shielding too much because uh, enemies could be simple to deal with, but as long as they're uh, uh, prevent, as long as we're covered and prevent from any harm to my team, we're good to go. There we go. Yeah, another one of those ceremonial boots. And you're not one of those that's just doing cranes. Looks like I can go in here, but I couldn't go in the other area. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. <laughs> So what's over here? Okay, is this like a little extra room? Alright, so like this is some extra room space. I can always come back here. Yeah. What's his name? Mentioned as Kaka Va Vao Shvash or something like that? I'm trying to remember if that was Hold mentioned. On. I think that was his his real name. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. You gotta prove your worth. Wrong. We need to find a way <sighs> to open this door in the hall, or this place gotta... will be our prison. Open a lot of uh, puzzles and fighting just to get to him. Room. <laughs> eh. My favorite. Oh boy. Get serious. I've okay. got time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Uh said prominent prominent wow. sandpit. You mean this thing over here? That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Say sandpit or sandbox. <laughs> 
Gotta get an AI. Give me the idea. A noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Oh, yeah? Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? So, I gotta go here then. Okay. Found it. This is it. That's the item, huh? Okay. Da, 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 da. Feeling lucky. Ah, so you turned it out? Well, I get to do this to you. Or maybe I'll take it off. Gotcha. Easy. Easy pickings. High stakes, high rewards. Whoop. Don't need to do that. Uh, I really hated those uh, automatrons <laughs> that were. Was it? Yeah, Tom, Tom. I really hated those ones. Ugh, they were such a pain, such an annoyance. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Tara. No dirty tricks. Things shift in divination. <laughs> Just picking my battles and get right through this. They get right through these areas, you know. All right, let's see. Let's see. Ah, there goes Robin. Hmm. And we got another birdie. Yeah, jump and pull on that one. Dun 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 dun, bye bye bye, stop that please. Okay. And we got a little puzzle pieces. Where did it go? Hmm. I mean, I don't know if I would have to go all the way back to do that. Deal with that one. Oh, it's right over there. It's like, I wish I could get that just right up on the wall. I don't have to climb on the wall just to get that. Dang it. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Just as I thought. Ah, that reminds me, I gotta work on a uh, 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 Silver Wolf a little bit more. She's got like a couple of her, her traces uh, need to be uh, or close to getting uh, filled up. And then, uh, of course, there's the uh, relics. Obviously, you gotta get that one. Uh, completed. Hopefully I can get her some good relics. Well, I'll probably do a lot of later on today or something like that at the time. Feeling lucky. Alright. Let's start with freezing. Here we go. Don't get that chest. Told you I the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Try that again. I need 
need to be brief. Come on now. You can't run. Stay back, Clara. I want to protect There we go. Science, so alright. Cause I just played it, just went without going to check it at read the read up read up on it. Target threat in well, that's just me. <laughs> At least now I got a clear picture as how it works. Not only in action, but it's a uh, fun like now looking into the details, now I get it. Nice try. Mistake. Are you all right? I'm okay. <laughs> the dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. Told you I could fight. A quick divination. Uh -huh. And she's out of here. Going and going and going. You can't run. Oh. Try that again. I want to protect everyone. Help me, Mr. Sora. All right, come on. Yeah, and that's it. Let me get that treasure. Why use telescoping lens, eh? Okay. Figured as much with those little electrical uh, nodes right there. I don't have an idea who's gonna be here and who's not. So this is if I want to play uh, this little game. I mean, I don't think I really have to do that right now. I think it's like a little extra thing if I want to guess get some stuff. Uh, don't want to go do that. I'll do it later. Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who pass through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Hmm. Well, then he has a point there. You probably might be shrinking in to go see the guy. We might be shrinking in to go in there. Well, I mean, I don't know about that, but anyway, just, just, 
Yeah, so that thing with the um, the uh, television thing turning me into the little guy, I can do that later. I didn't know if that was required, but at least not. Okay. The blocks. I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. I know, Rock the Dog Race is like, you shut your mouth, bro. You talk too much. <laughs> and it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, so we're walking through that thing? Next. Yeah, we're walking through it. There you go. See? Just like you said, you want to get, and you get small. Yep. See? Uh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, Dr. Oh, Ratio up there. Huge. It's me. Down here. In the, the sand pit. Oh, Funny hearing him talking in the way he's. make this work for us. Just find <laughs> like, uh, uh. <laughs> I'll infiltrate the family just like that. It's Sunday's call. What? What? Dr. Ratio, like, uh. Oh, fine. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. Oak Paradise. It's for the Oak family? Wait. Okay. Well, anyway. You're just walking up on the wall. You're just sitting up there like a uh, posed model. You know, default pose model. The hands at an angle, just standing straight up. I'm industrial pride, you say? Nah. Do you even work? Oh, yeah, you got bro. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, but, but I get it, I get it. Now go, go, go. Toodle scram. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we're just on this side of the map. The one on the left side of the uh, uh, dream of the of the play of this of the gold left side of the golden hour. That's it. Let's see, look at this. I am an Oak family soldier, so it's Oak family. Y'all, y'all glitching out. <laughs> look at it. Look, look at. Wait, wait, wait. Look at. Look at it. What the? Look at. Look at this dude over here. What? What? You got three of you just walking about straight like that, and you just stuck. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> My goodness, man. The Golden Hour base model. Yeah, they're literally happy to be literally set up like that. I'm just going around. Pop every balloon in, you can get some items, chests, do all that kind of all that kind of jazz. You're stuck. What? 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 I'm the world's lousiest soldier. <laughs> You're sinking in the, the darn uh, uh, sinkhole, man. <laughs> the manhole. You're, you're sitting right there, man. Everyone's like, <laughs> hello. B -b 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 Bye. No, there's anything over there. Is there anything over there? Let me use protection. Yeah, there is. Ah, uh, see that? Don't hurt the check. What do you got to say? I need a five-star review. You need zero, my friend. Zero. That's what you need. So basically, we're just looking at this whole model. I'm just kind of about to try to jump down, get a dive in that shallow of water. Okay, you got the puzzle piece right there. People looking onward, looking at this. Oh, dude. Yeah, they look big. And they're, dude. You huge, huge, man. It's almost a little scary right there, just looking at it. Okay.
I'm like, am I any birds hiding in this pool table? Nope. You're an N... Yes, you are an NPC. I don't know why the others didn't admit it. They just said there's some other thing. Industrial scum, this, that. They didn't even admit they're NPCs. Okay. Let's see. Puzzle pieces. Okay. Genius! Okay, let's go. I mean, it's very simple, but <laughs> not exactly like I wouldn't, I wouldn't boast. Me. Oh, yeah, it's genius. It's like, eh, sort of. I mean, it's, it's simple. I mean, the puzzles are not really that hard, man. It's just, yeah. Is there anything? I don't know. That's a, okay. Green strength, falling in the heart. Stop one heart beating. Yep, you got it. Let's deal with that. And there we go. <clears throat> So it's going through this area here. Try that again. I want to protect everyone. Oh, me, Mr. Tara. You can't run. Hide. Are you all right? I'm okay. Watch your head. Bingo! Just go brush. <laughs> they just went funny all out. They just went all out goofy with this. The big thing about March 7th, because I got her effect hit rate up, is that she can help me freeze the enemies a lot more. Especially when they're uh, not, uh, um, when, from what I observed so far, it can help me uh, freeze a lot of them. So it gives me plenty of turns to do a lot of other stuff. Plus, there's a little extra follow-up. I have to come back to that. But she could Mar Seven could still be another backup for me. That's just my that's just my choice. Do I want to change her though? Let's see. Because thanks to his shooting, we should be okay. But uh Um I mean if I want to add a healer just to be on the safe side, I could do that. But then again, most the enemies I deal with, you know, they're Good for the protection. I could have her in there. He needs more work. <laughs> I'm sorry. Last night either was really good. I was like, oh no, that's not good. And yeah, Bela, I gotta get her up there as well. She's actually, you know what? Ooh, actually, I've been I've been reeling her up for a while. Let me. This is my opportunity to use her now. Yeah, let me see where she's at right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm still got to get more of her good relics and planner spear, planner ornaments and all that stuff. I still got to work on getting the, getting better ones. I 
I'm going to experiment with this setup. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Ope soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Tell me about the guided tour. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Hello. 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 Model. I am base. A soldier. I will be here to guide you the base. Of the base model. We got the base soldier. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, forthright. Give it a kick. Happy to be of service. There we go. That ought to fix it. Oh, still, uh, still errors. Were they really laughing when they were doing this voice? <laughs> I bet they were laughing when they were doing this. Yeah, it's like, oh man, this just sounds too funny. Uh, you seriously are the worst soldier. Let's 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 play around. Tell me about the tour. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule machine model. <laughs> Screen is over cloud. He didn't even have time to earn a five star rating from you. <laughs> What's up with that? And now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. Oh, oh wow. Well, okay. Bro. I saw nothing. <laughs> he said, I know nothing. I know nothing of the sort. Oh, absolutely. Huh. Well, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Yeah, turn it. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Mm -hmm. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Good observation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I were to think lore-wise here, so apparently they pretty much follow fashion the model of the golden hour. But he can look at it constantly when he goes by he sees it kind of get a sense like he's in control like this is uh my model see this is my city this is look at that this is my uh um dreamland in a way ah i do wonder about sunday i wonder if he has a control complex behind his little uh Soft talking, uh, uh, um, front, if you know what I mean. Uh, I gotta get you guys out the way. The dice have the bust, or maybe I'll take it off. Since I know I'm, you know, talking about lore and stuff, you know. I mean, the setting of like. I don't know, like the setting of 19th, like a 19, uh, Songs for you. Let's you know, especially with the music, like I feel like 1940s, 1950s vibe a quick divination. meets London, meets like, <laughs> you know, or just, just in general, it's like, I feel like, um, because it's like we're doing like investigations in a way of what's going on. So I feel like it's taking me back to that, you know, 
old hard-boiled detective 1950s film noirs on one of the fragments except it's in color lives. type <laughs> story I need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there but it's tough so it's like a mystery kind of thing in my little detective persona of course <laughs> for my channel <laughs> that's, that's pretty much my identity's like a investigator private investigator detective in a way um <laughs> There's another pinball machine base here. Man. And it's empty too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back. Okay. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Ah, so we get to use him. Doctor, shake a leg. Yes. Yes. I know. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. yeah. Oh, I see one right, right there. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Uh, I guess he kind of just. Well, I mean, listening to how Doctor Ratio kind of describes his manner of meeting and do a lot of people's like. To him, a lot of people are just plain dumb. They're just stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they cannot match my knowledge of and greatness, you know. My vast knowledge. It's like only those few are worthy. Oh, Everyone is just annoying. Just <laughs> That's pretty much how I kind of... That's how I interpret Dr. Ratio. Okay, you're welcome. So we're placing them in the sand pit. Quote unquote sandbox. <laughs> I know, I know, it's supposed to be referencing like a game sandbox kind of thing. That's that's how I that's kinda of how I'm interpreting this. <laughs> it's ironic, but yeah. Okay. I mean that's how I'm interpreting it. I mean I could be wrong. I mean you can correct me on that. You can correct me on that if if if, if that's it. if I'm wrong. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I was trying to see how much I could do on there too. Like how many of those uh right, shootings can I do? Come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. Yeah. You guys are bros. You guys are bros. <laughs> Definitely. Because <laughs> it's annoying him so much. It's just, it's just, it's just funny. Yeah, stupidity, trooper, yeah, 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 get, 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 get. Does I think the birds are cute. I just, I just kind of want to move on. <laughs> and this opens the. Let me uh, see what this guy says. Nothing. You're just gonna. You're just gonna sit there. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
Got another one of those uh, chess pieces. Do I even want to do this now? I mean, I'm kind of like not trying to. I'll come back for you at another occasion. At least now I know you're here. All right, so let's see how I can do this. We're going to move this. I see. All right, so we do have to go through that. Okay. Activate you. Huh? Oh. Close this. Close that. There we go. Okay. Also, look around any other birdies trying to hide in here. Uh, you okay? Hello, I, 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 I am. Yes, you are, uh, are playing on that ground. Uh, okay, let's uh, this one. Yeah, you can sit over there and chill out. I don't need to bother with you. Nice try. Just the right weakness. Turn it up. Head your bets. No matter. I know I was changing my team at first for Dr. Ratio, but apparently uh didn't really have to do any fighting, so I think it was if those enemies, if they were in that room, I didn't go in there then. Probably, but I cleared it out, so. All done. Piece of cake. All right. So this is fine. This is good. So he just said, uh, "Yeah." So I'm done to it, but I can't pull it out because I'm small. The only one who would do it would be Doctor Ratio or me if I get or a uh, buddy here if he uh, a Venturine here if he got bigger. And there we go. <laughs> Alright, this should do it. Joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. Yeah. Well, Coney isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Hmm. Poker face. Well, I wonder what Aventurine's poker face is. Maybe just his smile. His casual smile, perhaps. Venturine's poker face. Yeah, it's right there. Well, anyway, it's fine. Let's go. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday <laughs> is just beyond this door. You didn't want me to leave it alive? He's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? 
Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Yeah, venturing. Your plan. Venturing, venturing. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people: benefit or fear. Hmm. Looks benefit like or fear isn't in your dictionary. Hmm. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. That's fear. Fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Hmm. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. That's what makes you wonder. Could it be someone in the family doing all this? Do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? That was just an excuse, good doctor. I don't There's know. Something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Oh. Well, Moreover, I need to know her identity. I mean, he's putting it that way. I mean, he doesn't know her, and he's just she could gets be wandering. an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. Hmm. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. I'm getting a sense of mafioso when I hear the family, I hear rat in the family, I hear all this. I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end... Freedom and power, you say? ...beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door... He said that in the trailer, I remember, he, I think he said that. close to zero, well... You can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Well, you play the hand on the, the riskiest hand. He's got to dealt it. He's going to deal it. Now we're going to meet Sunday face to face it seems my puzzles are too effortless for you IPC ambassador I appreciate your words and I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me mr. Sunday however this is no way to greet a guest well this isn't an invitation but a summoning before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He has already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. Sunday knows Dr. Ratio. Well person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is... You've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. There's an eye shape on that, uh, 
You'd just blew them his left shoulder there. Accusation against the family. Not to jump to any conclusions real fast, just for depravity is creeping in around you. Just observing his design. There's no need for us to be evasive. It doesn't hurt to come up with theories. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Pentacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. No, it's just death. Yeah, who could be responsible for this? Uh, well, yeah. Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. Yeah. It's really interesting looking at Sunday up close, seeing his design more thoroughly. I mean, I saw him in the previous gameplay, and so, in the previous update. But now I got a good look at him. Selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Got a lot of thoughts, but... Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I need more, uh... I just want to reclaim... Evidence. Mine. My liberty and the personal items under the custody the bag of gift money and the box in which the cornerstone is stored the cornerstone you say we got a cornerstone I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department a sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator really significant power and every liquidation specialist holds one Oh, the ten stone hearts holds so one. Precious. It probably what? At an even higher price than other forms of recompense. And holds the preservation well, emanator. Sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. That must be his. Mr. Aventurine. Because he has one. That's his. Do you always make adjustments to your appearance? They said they took his. Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. Isn't Topaz one of the I Tin don't. Stone Hearts? I would think she would have one do then. So in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm I think she's one of the Tin, so she would have the one. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. The gift money is good enough. Hmm. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. So they're holding on to it. Than I thought. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for, what exactly is stored in it? Hmm. Oh, triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Interesting. What have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. So, Next, forcing his tongue you have to speak the truth. Seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Is that what it means? And if I refuse to answer? Hmm. Hold on. Try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. This is interesting. <laughs> seeing this in action. Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. He said yes. A simple answer. You too understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Hmm. Is he manipulating him and just like that? Stone to the family when you entered Panacone. Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. 
is your cornerstone in this room right now. That is like psychedelic, bro. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yeah, Avgen from Sigonia. Yes. That's the one. You even know about that? Do the Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Ooh. Hmm. Yes. All the Avgens hmm. killed in a massacre. Am I right? <gasps> what? No. Wait. Are you your clan's sole survivor? So I'm not all of them. Wait. Oh no. Perhaps. Is that what happened? He's saying perhaps. Hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands. Dude, now, see, I want to know what happened. Oh, he's going deeper into his personal. I don't know. Mm. Interesting. Now. The final question. I'm like, he's just digging in on him. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? I don't think Topaz would have one. We haven't mm. seen one. I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen if she had one. She probably does. Ah, uh, he said, of course. Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Oh, man. That was crazy. So it's like putting the harmony right in his face. Say, you better answer truthfully and honestly. You better. It's like, watch your tongue. That dude. But I'm like, is this a psychological manipulation? What's going on here? Like, is he... Like, dude. But it's worth examining. What's it? What? It's empty. These, what you're looking for. <laughs> Whoa. That's what they look like. That was like jeweled up, jeweled eggs, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> but they're jeweled stones. Okay. Name is promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? Hmm. What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Hmm. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Hmm. If you agree... To Dr. Race is a really interesting figure. I'll ...share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Ah, so you entice him with knowledge seeking. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to right. take flight. That's his cornerstone, but probably sources much of his power. The elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. Yeah, is Topaz? You'll have Hold to on. speak more clearly than that. The cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered, was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones I would be surprised. Significantly more precious to them 
within their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Hmm. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. So that's hers. So, ah. do you wish to confront him? <laughs> not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. So that's Topaz's it's cornerstone. The place somewhere you'd never think wow. of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very from the, Wow. Hmm. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse. Downplaying the matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble. One he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep. Leading to a total loss. Huh. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Finally, so that all explains how he's able to get him. Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. So you got Topaz's golden, you might as well like a little bronze a kind of stone over there. And his is the green one. Formed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. Harmony's concentration. Beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods. Said con consecration. Into a trial. See, I, I mean, when I think of the name Sunday, the, the, the glass, I'm like, this is like a church. This is like, <laughs> this is how I'm interpreting this. Coercion. Harmony, unity, you light, Mr. Aventurine. Yeah. Punishment is meant for the reverence. But yeah. I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these seventeen system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. Not to mention his winged ears. But... Wait. Is that, it all depends or just not his ears? My test Wings the attached to the back of his ears, probably his hair or Should something. You, <laughs> you will be able to coalesce into the harmony 
and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion. Bodyman of Harmony. Abyss of doom. Eternal Centurion. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. So I got him cornered we now. You do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I huh. urge the evil from the So he's aware there's a rat inside. To justice with Quote unquote. 17 system hours. Said 17 system hours. Compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. It's interesting seeing Aventurine's uh, personal virtue angry <laughs> in this in this position. Your bag is over there. Not to say he never gets angry, but yeah. Please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Free, he says. Yeah, that bird. This meeting isn't an interrogation hmm. or a negotiation. It's a dark looking bird. It's an outright execution. Hmm. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? He's asking him that question again. Kakavasha! Yeah, that was his name. Yeah, Kakavasha. Uh, I was almost kind of almost mispronounced or I tried to pronounce it right. <laughs> Sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again. Okay? Shell Slasher. Hmm. Don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Hmm. Won? What happened exactly? Catechins. Is it some people that you were dealing with? I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating. Wow. I won fair and square. Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. Mm. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad Uh oh. Did they did they die? Because of the... Look, this is just a necklace. Like, because of the catechin? What? You are my only family. So it's just them. Uh oh. So it's just him and his sis. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Hmm. There'll be no next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Mm. 
You're a child blessed by Gaiathra Triclops and can lead Ka a happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Child right? blessed by Gaiathra Triclops. Hmm. Listen to me and swear to Gaiathra Triclops. Okay, we'll swear to Gaiathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gaiathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, oh. the catechins land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. So that's what happened to their dad. And where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. Mm. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Well, we're returning to the Trailblazer's point of view now. Um, excuse me. So Sunday was pretty much making him upon... The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. In his game now. Just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. It's Bloodhound we can only family. Access if there's a problem. Ah. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. Yep, Bloodhound family. You got Gallagher, probably gonna run into him. Obviously. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Oh boy. Hmm, I'm sure. Well, we know what happened to Robin actually. Miss Robin. Yep. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Hmm. Maybe perhaps the Garden of Recollection? The keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. Obviously. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Oh, who are you guys? Huh? What? What? What's? What's up? What's happening? The Bravo 
team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. What? Fox, get moving. Uh, uh armed evacuation? Boss, are you trying? Like, why is it armed evacuation? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Uh Stop. no. You're acting out of line, bro. Help me. I spent all my year end bonus on the snowball. <laughs> I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Oh boy. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IP? You, oh Bellabog? wait, it is the ones from Bellabog, yeah. Those guys. PC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation oh, of designated brother. safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Uh, oh! It's a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. <laughs> and there's Topaz. <laughs> Take it back to the hotel room. Uh, I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it's good to see her, but that is. <laughs> yeah, they're all drinking. Well, that machine thing was. How did that machine? Express crew. Adventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. I guess I got drunk by oil or something. <laughs> that machine. It's fine. Unless somebody, unless it has an opening, there's somebody in the machine. But anyway. Report to me before taking any action. Mm. Yes. All right. All right. So Topaz, you're here. Topaz. Very popular here on Penaconi. I mean, obviously. What do you think? The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Of course, there's going to be that conflict. Carries an invitation. Is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Mm. Let me know if you need yeah. anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, oh. Mr. Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. I mean, depending on what y'all do and how y'all do your ding things, though. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. So this is uh, the Trailblazers. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Aventurine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch, and basically never lost a gamble. Mm. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Penaconi, I'm watching with keen interest. Watching with keen interest, huh? Hmm. To me, it works only when all parties' interests are aligned. Of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. And as for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Please, continue to investigate the case. All I can do is sit tight in the real world. I look forward to hearing your progress. But before I 
So to them, is that a feather? Oh, I thought thought it was a feather up there. Excuse me. What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Oh. You, you remember me? <laughs> Shock face, huh? Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. I mean, if you want to expand the business of trouble, I mean, I'm willing to oblige. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> uh, pull some records for me and for business. When's our lunch break? Hmm, hungry. Nah, this is... Uh, listen, I got some business with your captain. Where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the I know, I could have picked the throw out be funny, but I'm just... Uh, I'm just gonna get, well. get going. Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like you got nothing, huh? But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. So yeah, let's look for him. So what are we thinking about? Yeah, you better not be causing any trouble, okay? Capiche? I think this is where I can stop too. By the case as well. Gallagher. Gallagher. Where could he be? Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold a minute. <clears throat> I think I've seen you before. Oh yeah, I remember you. A lot. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> That's right. It's-a me, Clucky. You think you look alike? <laughs> How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while feeding me up with that silver-haired girl. I remember. Oh man, I remember the. Ah, uh, it must really traumatize you, huh? So sorry about that, sir. We just was trying to get by. <laughs> Who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, He'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. That's Gallagher. Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, you don't know his boss's name, or he's just trying to pretend like he doesn't. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for you. Ah, right? you really got so badly affected by. <laughs> oh, that last time. <laughs> oh, man. So we're going to do it again? Magic. 
but I can't abuse it for evil doings. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Of course I'm going to do it. Plus, March 7th is begging me to do it. Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. So let's move in a good mood. I know your thoughts, Vera. It's time to make you happy. Let's see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. What? Time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. Yeah, that's right. Go walk out, have Ari laugh, and leave. <laughs> Well, I got it from Clocky. Yep. Just give credit to little Clocky, dude. I don't know where he is, but he's around. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Well, maybe you want to go It sounds like you are expecting us. So my cat is over here meowing. Miss Himako, you're too poor. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Huh. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Huh. That's cute, his little, uh, hangover thing on his left side. I got like a little pause in there. It is designed. Uh, well, that's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? Well, it was a nameless that communicated us about this whole legacy thing and getting here. That means there's something about all this that's not adding up. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. All right. But you got it wrong. I'm not. Really? Want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to go. Let's go elsewhere. At this moment, on the other side. Hmm. Kind of getting close to wrapping up for today. Well, let's just let it go a little further, and then I'll uh, have a stopping point. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. That's correct. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Mm. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like... Like a like a living idol. Mm. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. The harmony. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles. Keyword divine in that puzzle there. Mm-hmm. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's it's a good one. Anacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. The human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on tonight. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. 
That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, mm. where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. <sighs> Very uh, intriguing take there, Acheron. Mm -hmm. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. Mm. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. Then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Mm. Ah. Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily mm. forgetful. Yeah, I know those, those trailers, when man. The sword is unsheathed, Amazing. Hmm. Take your time. So as she unsees the sword, the memories become clearer. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Pentacle. Ask away. It's interesting seeing these two and you know talking. Uh so, you know, I think uh isn't he well anyway. Uh regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the dawn factory which processes the foundation of the dreamscape is located. Behind the dreamscape song and dance stand many imaginations. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. And they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. Mm. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best of the world. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. Hmm. Perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Ah, interesting. Regarding the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Sending blood that is made from money everywhere on the Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. So run by the Papeshi and Alfalfa, Alfalfa family. Okay. For their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Hmm. I've never met anyone who was willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they've earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door. That's me. This is a really good convo conversation. We witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. Dude, I was literally playing this without my headphones in. Ah, so if you heard double audio, I apologize. <laughs> yes, at this point, I'm sorry. I forgot to have that. Put my headphones in. I got, I got so engrossed and I just started playing. It's okay. At least you get to hear it even double time, amplified. If you heard a double audio, that is. But it's alright. I hear the blue hour is very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Eventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. 
I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. Hmm. Interesting. About the moment of dusk. The dreamscape of sheep, <clears throat> luxury, and consumerism. The moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Huh. <clears throat> it's like repetition. Let me I listen to that again. Um, Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. Even time, I ran into a wizened this. lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long departed. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed, and finally we retreated to the beach. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to go back People to that just a seen and heard along the way. This is a very interesting conversation. Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, the red letters, we still seek to change it. <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story hmm. with you. There was a man from my homeland who at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual mm. Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means... that man failed. Hmm. 
because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way. I haven't played Honkai Impact the Third, but I had a friend who told me most of its story. Man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards Icarus. the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. So he's talking about, uh, what's his name? The heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone. He's there talking, like, is he talking about would melt because of it. who I think it is? Fall into the sea. Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. Really? Witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. Hmm. So I will tell you. Really? Even if not completely similar. The story you just told. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life alone. Hmm. I am not really who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's wow. Bad. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. Ended that man's life long ago. There's something I still wish to know, Miss. Huh. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? All-consuming black hole. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Because you're looking for something to put your hopes and faith into. Something. You're searching for something. <sighs> Alright, phone ringing. What's going on here? I know she was talking to Constance earlier. Now, who is this? It's, it's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Yeah, I wonder what unforgettable memories Constance shared with her. Ah, sh Boot Hill. For you. This must be Boot Hill. Imposter? Said imposter. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. So in Boot Hill, that must be Boot. That's Boot Hill. That must be him. Did I make a mistake? Uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. Not 
tough challenge I like. You got imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> she's clearly not a path strider of the hunt. Yeah, she's but not. You are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Obviously, this guy would be the hunt, so. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Um, well, <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak. Oh, he'll be showing up. He's probably going to show up in the next update. Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Hmm. Of course she is an emanator. She's a mysterious, interesting, mysterious one indeed. Now we're back to Venturine's point of view. Whoa! You've never seen him like this. That also part of your act. Huh? I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. Interesting. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. Mm. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Mm -hmm. Great. <clears throat> tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your, your hands are tied, bro? Harmony? Yeah, I'm really curious. My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Mm-hmm. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Penacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. 
Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> oh. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single influence of a uh, Sunday on him. Hmm. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now. Let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. So let me see. A most exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Doctor Ratio advises you to only unveil it in a moment of life or death. You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out by yourself. Yeah, look at this whole perspective, bro. Uh, let me uh switch teams real quick. Bring in, bring you in, and bring you in. Hmm. Wow, look at this. But you know, this is where I'm stopping. Let me just make something real clear for a moment. I mean. I mean, maybe some obvious points could be stated. I mean, look, I mean, it's like reverence, divine divinity for the sake of harmony and unity in the family. So it's like a divine, it's like the family's like a divine reverence. Um, like they're uh, a, con a congregation of gathering of believers or so in the harmony, so to speak. I felt like when I went inside that interior, it was like I saw the the glass designs remind me of shattered glasses uh, designs or whatever you call it uh, at like monasteries and old church buildings and stuff like that. Um, and Sunday, kind of ironic, his name is Sunday, you know, because you know going to church on Sundays, it kind of thing. But it's like look at the look at this color around him, you know. You think it's like he's hitting the tide or just the effect that Sunday had on him with the power of harmony, you know. I think mean, isn't Sunday's I think wasn't Sunday an I mean someone could tell me isn't he like an emanator of harmony? I think he is. Or or just just someone who worships supports harmony. I, I don't know. Um I have to look to his back maybe some background online or something. But um yeah. I mean, just to say even a little bit more here, I mean, I know it's also that something onto death, that meme thing that is death, has a lot of eyes. Sunday's design has some a lot of eye symbols. Even that bird up there, that dark looking bird had an eye thing on it. it I don't know, maybe it's just me, but what if that something onto death has more to do with Sunday? than what we're being than what we're given right now at this moment. It says there's a rat in the family, there's a traitor in the family, but what if it's really something with Sunday himself? I mean, he might not be telling us everything. We might not really be getting a lot of things from him. That were that 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 are just still hidden. Very secretive. I mean I don't know. But all I gotta do is just continue playing. We'll see what more uh, revelations we could find, and then from this update to the next, and get to the bottom of who really is behind all this. But he could be suspect numero uno, or probably not. I mean, uh, I mean, I can only surmise of what we have so far with so much clues we've gathered and. What we could muster is uh, maybe there is something to him that could be conceived as maybe dangerous or something. That's how it used to be a prison. 
So I wonder what the whole family, what the fam, what crimes did they commit before? If any of them all, if any of them in their past or anything have committed any crimes. That's another thing. This was a previous prison, so I do wonder about that too. Well, there's probably more about the past of Penacone and uh, the Watchmaker legacy. After all, there was a mention about this death, there's something to do with their past and on to the present and the future. There's something to it. Well, we only have to know more about the family in Panacone as we continue playing. It's the best we can do. So, uh, we're in a very serious case here with uh, Venturine here. I really am looking forward to learn more and more of his backstory about a minute. We're getting somewhere, but this is where I'm going to stop. So, I have to distribute your gems, ask around for clues, run the stories much, much uh, for another time. I've already played long enough. <laughs> There's only so much I could say. But I love the conversation between Acheron and Yang. He said, when she said, you know, that man, I, you know, I've taken a long, he, like, he's gone. Like, he's, he's, I've, you know, cut him off, like, he's gone a long time ago. So there was somebody maybe she once loved, perhaps, or, or someone very close to her. Oh my gosh. But yeah, she's an emanator. He said an emanator doesn't shouldn't exist. So I'm wondering what makes you wonder what kind of emanator she is. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could say emanator of nihility of X, or emanator of hit X, but maybe not X or not X. Or I mean, you think self annihilator? We have X, so. But, enough of that talk. I'm just going to end it here. It's EXP Story Gamers ending Aventurine's point of view's case. For now, we'll be opening up the, f the files later. You take care. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little playthrough. Peace out, folks. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe notification bell. like to see more of my RPG gaming and lore playthrough and explorations. Take care and have a wonderful time.